Ladies and gentlemen, this is something you guys have been asking me all fucking week. Oh, JD, are you gonna play Until Dawn, man? It's here! Being that you guys loved my Silent Hills PT videos, man, they did fucking exceptionally well. I don't know what the fuck I did over there that you guys enjoyed so much, but those did fantastic. I figured it was time to usher in a new type of fear. I know I'm still playing Alien. I still gotta beat Alien, man. There's just so much shit going on. I'm not a fucking no-lifer like T-Martin where I can sit home and play fucking games all day. But regardless of that, man, until dawn, if you're playing it, support it anyway, alright? I don't even know if this is going to be on my main channel or my second channel, man. I don't even know yet. But if you're not subscribed to the second channel, go over there and subscribe anyway, because it's probably going to be on both. That's how I feel about that one, man. But until dawn, this is going to be fucking epic. If you guys love to see me scared shitless, this is going to be the fucking Let's Play and Walkthrough for you. So we're going to... Do a new story. Oh my god. The butterfly effect, man. A tiny bu tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane. Oh my god. That was actually a good movie, man. Who was that with? John Cusack? The butterfly effect? Or was that, that was the Mothman. I wanted them fucking movies. I don't know. Mothman I'm thinking of. The Mothman prophecies. My actions will shape how the story unfolds. I'm going to fucking do exactly what I would do, man. This is gonna be fucking epic. Where's my cold beverage, man? You guys got your cold beverages? I don't have alcohol. Choose your actions carefully. Ooh. We got the typical setting. Cabin in the woods, in the middle of nowhere, in the heart of winter. Look at this shit. Let me get ready here, man. I may be fucking thrusted into something that's gonna decide the fate of everybody already. Oh my god, already. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Did you guys think this is a little bit cruel? Come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my hand. has been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class pres doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Looks like I'm watching a movie. Why is it so, Why is it so dark in these houses, man? There's no lamps. <laughs> She's here. Shh, shh, shh. Mike. Oh, look, they got a candle. Mike. It's Hannah. I'll light your fire, honey. Look at this fucking asshole. This guy looks drunk on the fucking kitchen counter. Uh oh. Oh my god. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. What the fuck do I do here, man? What's this? There's a note. Tutorial. R2 to pick up the note. No, I want to pick up the note, man. I got to hold R2 to fucking turn the note. There you go. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt. But I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike. Oh, my God. Mike is fucking putting the moves on, uh, on Hannah over here. But I bet you're even hotter out of it, man. It's kind of cheesy. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? 
She's gonna have a fucking fantastic night. That's what that means. Can I look over here? No, I can't look over here to my left. This fucking asshole's out cold. Hey. He's snoring. Bunch of beer cans, man. They've been partying already, man. You didn't invite me? I mean, seriously. Look at these, man. Look at this shit, man. Both of these guys are off. What's this? Jeremiah Craig. Never heard of it, man. Jeez, Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Oh. Oh my Maybe god, look how happy. You know, look, look how happy. Look how happy he is, guys. Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah. Look at him. Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt. What are you doing here? Oh. Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, this all got out of hand, just but... a stupid prank. Uh what a faggot! Oh my god! Oh, he fucked that up! What the fuck was that? I was fucking too busy talking to you fucking goons. What the fuck was that? Josh! Josh! Fuck! You're about to die, bitch. Guys, there's someone outside. What's going on? Where's my sister? Oh my god! It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We're just messing around, Beth. It wasn't hey, you... serious. You jerks! Hannah! <laughs> what a bunch of fucking assholes, man! In the middle of the winter! I think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. What's going on? I go the safe route. What a dumbass. What a dumbass. I don't like it. Oh my god. Follow footprints. Follow footprints. This might be bad. It's a fucking deer. Jesus. Fuck. Shit. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? Yeah, you're gonna fucking die, bitch. You're a fucking asshole. Status update. This is not... This is not good, man. There's footprints. Is that footprints? Yeah, those are, those gotta be footprints, man. Unless I'm seeing things. Oh shit! Oh my god! You fucking asshole! Dude, just kill me now. Seriously, just kill me now, bro. What's this?
Oh my god. Is that how she's gonna die? What does that mean? Totems. I don't know what to do here, man. What the fuck is this? Tribes believe that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you how you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As unlocked totems, the events of the past will become clear. The mystery man. Any of your business. Current objective, find Hannah. She ain't too brave right now. And she's quite curious. I don't know, man. This is fucking ridiculous. I don't want to I don't want to do that. I don't know, guys. This is literally my first fucking time playing this shit. Huh? Don't know. Dude, why is the... Dude, there's fucking footprints. Or is that mine? Dude, I'm gonna be fucking scared out of my foot. This is fucking ridiculous. What the fuck? Anna. Anna. Hello? Anna. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Anna? What the what the fuck? Oh my god! What a fucking asshole. There are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. 
sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. This guy sounds like a fucking asshole. Right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up cart? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. A fucking scarecrow, man. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. I feel uneasy, man. Honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Yeah. Well, I see. I see. The scarecrow, man. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. Probably not. Well, no. I wouldn't. Why not? Seems like a fucking lonely place, man. It's a fine line between the peacefulness of solitude and the loneliness of isolation. Perhaps this is something we can explore in the future. Hmm? Ah, yeah! This guy sounds like a fucking asshole if I ever seen one. And uh, until then, try to surround yourself with friends in a place that makes you feel yeah, the bar with a fucking Guinness in front of me, asshole. How about that one? That's gonna make me happy. Not a fucking farm with cornfields. Him and his fucking tea. Look at him. Andy Klein. Thanks for having me, Martin. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Nobody's laughing at you, you uh, fucking geek! <laughs> what a fucking faggot! I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you, and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters, and, you know. Okay, so, let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes!
Back to the fucking forest, man. Memento Mori! Oh my... Already? I didn't even get off the fucking bus yet! That's Sam. Look at this shit, man. I don't like this at all. Yeah, I know, tutorial. I know, bro. You can look around. You can look up. There's a fucking crow on the gate. There you go. What the fuck does this say? The gate's busted. Climb over. What a fucking bitch. Oh, Jesus, never mind. Hey, you're gonna have to climb over, honey. You're gonna have to climb over, honey. Climb over to what? I gotta go over here. Climb up. I'll do safe. It's like a terrible fucking climb, man. What, are you gonna jump down now? You ain't jumping down from there. Look at this fucking guy. Look at this fucking guy, man. Whoever he is, look at him. Let me get into the fucking house. Oh, look at how cute! I didn't move it, man! Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. That's it. Come on. Ah, damn it. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. I didn't move nothing! That time it worked though. I don't understand. I put it down on the fucking couch and the fucking thing was running away. I hold it steady in my fucking hand and then all of a sudden it just starts to work. Dumb. Feeding squirrels when you got a fucking serial killer behind you. Yeah, walk a little faster, honey. Look at this shit. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Oh my god. What the fuck did I do, man? Head to the cable car station. That's the fucking objective.
I don't know what the fuck that showed you. The future is uncertain. Whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on the choices you make. There's a fucking backpack over here. Chris? You here? Yeah, I see. I see. Bags here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Hello. What do we have here? He's probably taking a piss somewhere. Yeah, I'm gonna snoop, man. I'm gonna snoop. Aha! Look who it is. Ashley. <laughs> he knows you. Chris. You motherfucker. Where did you go, Chris? You fucking faggot. I, I'm sorry. Are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. Yeah, man, you disappeared somewhere. I don't know where the fuck you are. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? Who leaves their bag just laying there like that? Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. It's gonna blow your mind. What is this? Oh man, look at this. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh come on, this place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Yeah, except for fucking serial killers. Ta da! Pretty rad, right? Where's the fucking train, man? I'm not here to play fucking games! Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. Alright. Here goes. Man, you hear everything in these fucking headsets, man. that shadow in the background, man. You see the fucking... Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Don't shoot the squirrel, asshole. Butterfly effect update. I don't know what the fuck that means. Status update. I don't know what that means. Did I do something right or did I do something wrong? It is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Victor Milgram. Last seen 3-6-1998. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. 
They said they found people sleeping in the station one time. That's creepy. Yeah, that's great. After you. Oh, real gentleman. No, I don't like the sound of this. I don't like the looks of this either. And I thought the car was closer. I guess we gotta wait. I'm trying to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Hotel and sanatorium. For a healthy body and mind. What a crazy place to set up house. No matter how rich you are. Not so rich. Family bought a mountain. What the fuck is going on here? Is that the car? I hate cable cars, man. Right. Not for me. Oh, this was the right and this just gives me a bad feeling right now. You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, and I'm kind of worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. Everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. Yeah, thanks, bro. You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off the training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or we're talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Well, there you go. Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. Trusting Irrelevant and confident. Awesome. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Irrelevant. Time to meet and greet. She's fucking irrelevant, people. Oh my god. I get to control Jess now. What the hell? Jess, hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys you having a weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'll show you where I'm on muscle, Jess. Other people playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. 
seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Now give it back, man. Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that, as a rule. Come on, Jess, you can tell us. You can totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <sighs> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget. Yeah, it doesn't look that inviting, oh, Sam. Solid. Seriously, couldn't they have a cable car end? Emily, Mike's ex. She looks like a fucking bitch. Look at her! In intelligent, resourceful, and persuasive. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Who's this asshole? Matt, Emily's new boyfriend. Ambitious, active, and motivated. He also looks like a fucking geek. Look at him. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? All right, guys. She's gonna say something to me. You fucking bitch. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna end it here. If you're enjoying this, man, and you want to see more, you let me know, bro. And I'll upload another one tomorrow. She's coming, look, well, she's walking right to me, man. Do you mind if I talk to the audience? If you guys want to see more of this, let me know. And I'll upload the next one immediately, man. Let me know what you guys think about this first episode. Until dawn, man. Couple of jump scares. Looks like it's gonna be a fucking beast walkthrough. Let me know what you guys think about this one down below. Hit that thumbs up, support. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I don't know if it's going to be on my main channel, my second channel, or both. I don't fucking know, man. Give me some ideas, because I want to get this out there. My channel's in good standing. It is what it is. But I'll see you guys in the next one, hopefully. Thank you guys for watching. Until dawn, JD. I'll see you guys later.